Good evening and thank you for joining us. This is what is left of a business and home in Mitchellville after a fire tore through it this past weekend. Now today the town east of Des Moines coming together to help one of their own. Local 5's John Diaz shares what the community is doing to help a family who lost everything. And the building's been here for so long. It was kind of surreal to realize it wasn't there anymore. Danielle Coons calls herself Sharon McCammon's adopted granddaughter. I try to reassure her every day that we're going to get through this. This was not only Sharon's business, but also her home for the past 20 years, where up until Sunday she lived with her grandson Dylan. It's definitely sombering for her still, and just a lot of unknowns for her. But you see what she does know? She has friends who care, lots of them. So I've known her since I was like 10. <laughs> Crystal Beatty on Thursday turning a pulled pork sandwich at her family's restaurant. Okay, what would you like? Two of the dinner. Sharon's? Yeah. Into a fundraiser for Sharon. Well, thanks for coming out and supporting. We appreciate you. The community responding. It is hopping, and this is slow compared to what it's been all day. Stephen and Rhonda driving in from Colfax just for this. Because we're friends. <laughs> She, she treated us like family. Everybody's contacting her, coming and seeing her. And just down the road, Tavern 36 owner Jessica Baldwin working on her own fundraiser to help Sharon. One of our guys is uh, knows Sharon pretty well, so we decided that we needed to jump in and do something to help them. Coons, meanwhile, who's hoping the money raised will help Sharon and her grandson find a place to stay, conveying Sharon's gratitude. She is truly overwhelmed and speechless. She really has no clue what to say other than thank you. And Danielle tells us that her grandmother is already thinking about the possibility of rebuilding here. She tells us that's a little ways off, but still something she's thinking about. In Mitchellville, John Diaz, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Danielle has set up a GoFundMe account for her grandmother, and if you want to help, you can find that link on our website, weareiowa.com.